Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Nearest Academy. So guys, today's video is very much interesting and it is related to the manufacturing industry, manufacturing sector. So when you visit a manufacturing industry where a some product has been manufactured and for that particular product, there is certain process has been carried out. The certain amount of the raw material is required. That particular raw material is known as the inventory. Also, you must have heard about the word that is nothing but the ABC analysis. Well, this particular ABC analysis is the statistical approach to control the inventory. Over here in ABC analysis, the like the categorization of the raw material, categorization of the inventory is carried out in order to control the inventory. So over here, guys, uh, like an X product is gets manufactured in a manufacturing industry. And for that particular product, the list of various items are required. That particular items can be a equipment uh, or else an instrument or else some of the utility items such as the fasteners, stud bolts, uh, rivets. These are nothing but the class C items. So guys, over here, the to get an ultimate desired final output in terms of a product, you need certain inventory. And that particular inventory gets controlled by doing the statistical approach, by doing the statistical categorization of all the inventory items, which is known as the ABC analysis. So guys, over here in our today's video, we are going to learn about the ABC analysis. Why this ABC analysis is carried out? What are the advantages of the ABC analysis? And like overall, we will, we are, we will be getting the idea of ABC analysis in our today's video. So guys, if you're new over here on my education channel, Genius Academy, kindly subscribe it because ultimately your subscription really motivates me to make more of such educational videos. Also guys, if you're having any queries, any comments regarding our today's topic, you can comment below. And guys, if you want me to make another new video for you, you can also comment. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin in our today's topic of ABC analysis. So guys, basically, in order to manufacture a particular product, you need some raw materials, which is known as the inventory. This particular inventory can be uh, like a finished product, which product is you are using in your final product. It can be uh, the instrument, it can be the sheets of aluminium, SS sheets, steel plates, rods. So these are, you know, various raw material types which are available in the market. So this can be, it can be anything. So this particular inventory gets categorized in the form of A, B and C. Over here guys, suppose for that particular final product, you required a, a instrument, you required a pressure gauge, which is always used. So this particular pressure gauge has been ordered at the economical ordered quantity. Basically when the stock reaches to at the its minimum level and in that particular uh, scenario you have to order that uh, pressure gauges so over here when you will come to know this the stock has been uh, depleted over here so this particular over here that control is achieved through the abc analysis over here this abc all the inventory items gets categorized in the a b and c the class a items are suitable that is uh, the class A items covers about 10% of the quantity, which is having the less quantity, but the highest inventory value of around 70% of the total inventory value, it is consumed by the class A items. Whereas this class B items, this is nothing but the 20% of the inventory value, whereas it consumes around 20% in quantity. So it is having a moderate quantity and a moderate value. When we go into the class C type items, so this particular class C items is having the 70% of the total quantity, like the all the fasteners, the stud bolts, the gaskets. So these are nothing but the like the uh, class C items, which will be having the higher quantity, but less the value. So over here, guys, the this all the inventory items gets categorized in terms of its value and the quantity class a items will be having the higher quant lesser quantity but the higher value class b items will be having moderate quantity and the moderate value whereas in class c items it will be having the higher quantity and the lesser value so over here this particular categorization is carried out in order to achieve a better control over the inventory items 
so over here guys this for by carrying out this particular abc analysis whole of the process gets standardized in every manufacturing industry the minimum order quantity can be decided for each and every class a class b and class c items so that is different for each class items also guys we can achieve the cost control over the each inventory item so that can be achieved by carrying out this abc analysis in every manufacturing industry so how to implement this particular abc analysis in your organization so first of all you have to calculate the annual consumption value of each and every item this particular annual consumption value over here i'm talking about value not the consumption amount this particular value can be we, uh, we can calculate by using this cost of each item into their quantity that is the annual consumption quantity into cost of each item so you will be getting the annual consumption value and based upon that annual consumption value we can categorize the all of the materials all of the inventory items into a b c groups and this is the reason this particular abc analysis is also known as the selective inventory control so this particular inventory control is the selective we we are selecting this items we are selecting the inventory uh, items based upon their quantity that is the requirement and the value so over here the quantity and the value these are the two essential parameter based on which the all the items are classified all the inventory items are classified and just because of this ebc analysis the other processes like sourcing procuring the receiving of the material at the inward and the inventory management becomes simplified just because of this abc analysis so guys over here we can say that this particular abc analysis stands for the always better control over the inventory items so this is nothing but the abc analysis always better control so guys i hope you like my video if you having any queries any doubts please do subscribe and please do uh, motivate me by sharing all of my educational content to the social networks to your friends family to everyone guys so thank you so much for watching this educational video